In this question, we're asked to enlarge shape A by scale factor 2.5 from centre 9, negative 9. If you'd like to do this question alongside me, just down, use the link below to download and print the templates. And then you can just pause the video when you need to to catch up. The first thing I'm going to do is mark on the centre of enlargement at 9, negative 9. And now I'm going to draw guidelines from the centre through each of the vertices or corners of the shape. And they will help me to verify that the position of my new vertices are correct. Take care when placing your ruler because it's very difficult to get these guidelines straight, especially when the original shape is very close to the center and the new shape is very far away but we just need to make sure that we are on or near those guidelines when we place our new points so in order to find the uh, coordinates of the new shape the vertices of the new shape I'm going to count squares from the center to each of the vertices going across and up so I'm going to the left so that's negative and I'm going up so this will help because when I'm counting, sometimes it's easy to forget what you've counted when you're trying to also multiply it by 2.5. So if we write those numbers down, we're less likely to make a mistake. So the first vertex is 6 across and 2 up. So 6 to the left, which is negative 6 and 2 up. Multiplying those by 2.5 gives negative 15 and 5. So the new vertex will be 15 to the left and 5 up. 5, 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, bang on the grid line. So I'm confident that that's correct. This vertex here is 2 across and 2 up, so 2 to the left and 2 up. Multiply those by 3 and 5 to the left and 5 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very close to the grid line. And the next one is 2 across and 4 up. So negative 2 and 4 becomes negative 5. And 4 multiplied by 2.5 is 10. So I go... 5 across and 10 up. 3, 6, 9, 10. And again, it's almost exactly on the grid line. So once I join up the vertices, I can check whether the new shape is in fact 2.5 times the size of the original. So this length here is 4. If we multiply that by 2.5, we get 10. So just check. Yes, that's 10. And this is 2. Multiply that by 2.5 and we should have 5. And that's correct. It looks like it's just sliding along the grid lines. So I'm confident that that's correct.